Pastor Andrew here and we're continuing our series on transformation and this week we're talking about friendships. Um, I hope you've got some friends in kids church that you love connecting with um, and we're going to be talking about why it's important to connect with those kind of friends. So why don't we turn to the Bible in uh, Proverbs and it's Proverbs 12 verse 26 and it says uh, a righteous man chooses his friends wisely, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. So kids, the really important takeaway from today is not McDonald's, it's not KFC, it's not even Red Rooster. The takeaway from today is that you need to choose who your friends are. Choose your friends wisely. Choose who your friends are. And that's really important because your friends uh, will, do, will in many ways direct the course of your life. If you choose the wrong friends, you can go down a very windy path. But if you intentionally choose the right friends, you go down God's righteous path, righteous highway, and your life will just get better and better and better. It's really important to choose your friends wisely. So, I mean, we make choices every day, don't we? And some aren't that important. We can choose whether, uh, we can choose what we eat for lunch. We can choose what we have for breakfast. We, we, we can choose uh, where to go on a weekend. And those, those choices don't have big ramifications unless you're eating chocolate and ice cream every, every, every day for morning breakfast and dinner, then that's going to accumulate. But 
really those kinds of choices don't have huge ramifications for your life. Another choice that doesn't have a big, isn't that much of a big deal, is what you choose, what games you choose to play. So I've got two games here. I've got Five Second Rule, which I love, and I've also got Uno, which I love. And each night I do devotions with my daughter, Rochelle, and then we'll play a game afterwards. And I might say, what do you want to play? And she might choose to play Five Second Rule and not to play Uno. So we'll play Five Second Rule that night. So that's just a, a, that's a choice that, that doesn't have big ramifications in her life or in mine. But choosing your friends will have big ramifications. It might seem small at the start, but if you choose a bad friend, they will start to lead you down a bad path. And it happens all the time. And what I really don't want for you is that you get led down a path because you chose the wrong friend and then you end up not knowing Jesus, you end up uh, living an immoral life or a life that is not godly. And that would be, that would be horrible, it would be horrendous. So I want to teach you to choose wise friends. So I've got a couple of friends. One of my friends is Rusty. Now, I would not choose Rusty as a friend. One, because he's not a believer. He doesn't know Jesus. And, and, and that's the biggest one. He wouldn't be a close friend of mine because of that. Um, but I, I, can, I, can, I can catch up with him sometimes, but he won't be my close friend. Uh, how do you feel about that, Rusty? Uh, I don't like it. Uh, it's your choice. Fantastic. And we're still friends, but I won't make him a very close friend because he doesn't know Jesus. On the, and, and he doesn't follow live a righteous life. But George, on the other hand, has followed Jesus ever since he was a young boy. And he's a very close friend of mine. And he, he uh, helps me to be a better person. Don't you, George? Oh, yeah. We're also friends, yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. So yeah, I, I'm really good friends with George. I can confide in him because I know that he has the right values and he helps me be a better person. So we'll see you soon, George. Okay. So the most important thing about choosing a friend is that, uh, that, they, that they love Jesus and they're trying to follow Jesus with all of their heart. Because if they're, they're lo they love Jesus, they're friends with Jesus, then Jesus is going to transform them from the inside out. He's going to help them have the right values and the right heart for other people. So can I encourage you to really choose friends who love Jesus with all their heart because those kind of friends are going to help you be a better person. But the other, the second thing is, uh, is how can you be the best friend you can be? Well, number one, love Jesus with all your heart and follow him with all your heart. And he will transform you from the inside out. Number two is stop, is get your focus off yourself. We, we're so easy, can so easily focus on ourselves. I heard someone say recently, who do you look at uh, in when you look at a photo? Who's the first person you look at? That's right, you look at yourself, don't you? I do the same. And if, if I don't look good, I don't think it's a good photo. And I, I bet it's the same for you. So it's so easy for us to focus on ourselves. But if we want to be good friends, we need to step out and focus on others. Second thing we can do is we can listen. Instead of talking too much, we can listen to our friends, hear their heart, and, and, and learn from them and care about them by using our two ears to listen and keeping our one mouth shut. So that's, that's, that's two things. And number three, we can be compassionate. We can be compassionate. So 
when, when our friends are, going, uh, are having a hard time, we can sit with them, we can listen to them, we can love them uh, unconditionally and help them through tough times. And number four, we can rejoice with them when, when things are going well. So a, a good friend will always be happy when their friend is doing well and will be sad when they're not doing well, but will help them through whatever they are going through. So that's just a few things about how you can be a really good friend. So you can choose your friends wisely so that you can sharpen each other. Iron sharpens iron. Good friends sharpen each other, help each other to be better, help each other to love Jesus more and to live a better life. Um, and, and then you can be the best friend you can be by following those four tips. So kids, I, I'm, I really want you to develop great friendships this year in kids church, at school, wherever you may be. But remember to choose your friends wisely to make sure that your close friends follow Jesus um, and to step out of yourself to focus on your friends so that you can be the best friend you can be. So that's all from me uh, and I hope you enjoyed today and uh, I'll see you soon. See you kids.